So it's beach time, it's summertime, I know what's going on. You're probably on Amazon looking for the perfect beach tent, the perfect canopy, something that protects you from the sun or the umbrella or whatever the case may be. Well, I got something that you may be interested in. I have done um, massive research on sun protection, umbrellas, tents, canopies, all of that good stuff because we live here in Florida and um, you know I try to hit the, the beach quite often and it's hard to find, not necessarily the perfect one, but one in which will hold, hold up over strong winds, provide great protection, and um, is easy to install and carry around. And so I have tried others. I've um, actually had to return some canopies um, and some other ones I've just sold because I went out of the um, return window or uh, I just gave away. So the reveal that I'm doing today is on a particular tent. It is called the Oilius. I think this is how you pronounce it. The Oilius, the Oilius tent canopy or beach canopy or um, sunshade or whatever you want to call it but I'll put a link to the description below to kind of let you know where to find it on Amazon and it's funny because I've actually been checking this thing out for I say at least about six months and during the winter time it was on sale for fifty dollars actually I think it was fifty nine ninety nine and now they went up to seventy nine ninety nine I guess because it's summertime so the tent has actually went up to twenty bucks when I first saw it it didn't have any reviews on it now I think there's only like six or seven reviews and I actually did one of the reviews um, just to try to help you know people understand what they're buying and how to set it up. Some of the bad reviews that are on it is because I don't think people have given it a chance or don't know how to set it up. I can say I was the exact same way. When it comes to this product, the first mistake that I made was I tried to set it up for the first time on the beach, which I knew was going to be a mistake. I wanted to try to do it in the grass or in the yard, but I just don't have enough yard space for the size of this thing. I have to set it up with the front of it facing the wind. If the wind is not facing the front of it, you're not going to be able to get this thing uh, set up properly. So you definitely want to make sure that you um, put the front of it uh, facing the wind. If you're not sure on uh, which direction the wind is blowing, just grab some sand, throw it in the air, and see which way the sand blows. And whichever way it blows, that's the way the wind's blowing. So you want to keep the front of this because it's kind of like a pyramid. It's a, you know, you have your long section in the back and then the two sides of it. And that point, the point of the pyramid needs to be facing the wind. As long as you do that, you should be good to go. So let me first just go ahead and show you what's actually included in the kit which is your tent right here which I'm not going to open it out because I have another video of me on the beach um, setting this thing up so I'm just going to let the video speak for itself but the tent comes in a small little bag it's very very lightweight um, these orange spikes did not come with it I had to buy these separately off Amazon these were like $25 but they're called the orange screw you will need these I promise you you need to buy these they don't come with it they do come with some cheap yellow stakes I don't even know where they are but don't use those those cheap yellow stakes that this thing comes with are completely worthless and will not do the job on the beach they may do the job in ground like in, in actual dirt or grass but if you're taking this thing to the beach you need to get these things right here the orange screw it comes with four screws they're 25 bucks and then of course you have your um, tractable um, sticks for the actual tent and so that's pretty much it this is the setup everything is included that you need for the tent except for the orange screws but you need to get those um, and I posted a video just to kind of show you how to set it up I do recommend this tent it is a big tent uh, all four of us fit under it with no problem I would say if you want to do kind of like a more of a circle under the tent I'm gonna say you can put at least another two more adults in there which would bring it up to maybe six to seven people um, it just depends on how the chairs are aligned under the tent um, another thing to keep in mind is when you go under the tent at its max height up it's about exactly six feet tall I'm six foot and it's just brushing my head so you know it's not a lot of room to stand underneath it especially for taller people but you know once you have your beach chairs underneath it and everything it's a, it's a good amount of shade it's it's a big enough shade where you don't have to move like that's how much coverage this thing gets okay it does say that it has 99% uh, UV protection 
I probably agree with that. And it says this is 16 by 16 foot. Uh, I also agree with that as well. This thing can, can get pretty big. So once you set it up, this, this is not a small tent at all. If you're looking for something, you know, a little bit more personable or just a one person tent or something that, you know, you don't need as big, then don't go with this one. But even if it's just for two people, uh, I would recommend it. It does also come with four sandbags. Uh, they come with these little gray, cheap looking vinyl bags, but I've not had to use any sandbags as of yet. I think the poles, the actual poles that you insert into the top of the canopy are strong enough. And then again, with those orange screws, screw down to the ground, um, you don't have to, to worry about uh, sandbags. Because when you start to set it up, you will realize that it's a little bit more difficult than you. The first time will probably be more difficult than you think. This is what I actually screw the screws in. So if you're buying this tent and you set it up, put the orange screw inside the key ring hole and then tighten it this way and screw it into the sand. And this thing is not gonna move. I'm gonna talk it through first and then I'm gonna show the video of us on the beach setting this up. Now in the video, you'll see that it's three of us actually putting this together. Uh, it doesn't take three people. You can do it with two. First thing you wanna do, spread the tent out. Put it on sand, open it up. Make sure that um, the, the part of the tent in which you slide the poles through at the top of the tent is on top. So to spread the whole thing out, it's gonna be a triangle diagram once you put it in the sand. Spread out all of the black belts. The black belts should actually be a triangle as well. So once you spread these out, these straps should form a triangle. Once you do that, pull the black belts out as far as possible to make it tight. That's why I'm saying you're gonna need at least two people. And once you make these tight, then you take the orange screw, put the orange screw in the hole, and then screw these into the sand. That gives you your base. Once your base is in, you're good to go. So then after that, you're gonna take the actual poles, and these are the gray sandbags that it comes with, but you won't need these. I've, we've, I've already taken this out in some windy conditions, and the, the orange stakes prevent us from having to use the, the uh, sandbags. Once you get that done, these are the retractable poles. Very easy. You put the poles in. I mean, they're just like any other tent poles. And they get very, very long. You can see I have one, two, three. These are just three, and I have like five more to go. So this thing gets very long. There are three of these long poles. And that's going to be your... Um, these are gonna be the poles that go inside of, it's gonna be this gray section right here. This gray loops or inserts are at the top of the canopy and you put these inside of those gray inserts. All right, and you'll see it in the video next when I show you. So once you have your foundation and your orange screws filled in, once you have your poles inserted into the inserts on top of the canopy, you just, well the best thing to do is go in the middle and just lift the canopy up and then start to insert the poles into the sand. And once you do that, um, it should stay. You should be good to go. Another thing I wanted to mention real quick, these poles, the end of the poles, the poles that go into the sand have a rubberized tip. These come off easily, and you're probably gonna lose them. All of mine have already come off. So just keep in mind that um, if these rubber tips come off, then it's gonna look like this. They're still going to the sand with no problem. These are the easiest steps to follow. Lay it out completely flat. Make sure the inserts where you put in your poles are on top. Spread it out like a triangle. That's the shape that it's in, a huge, big triangle. Once you do that, put down your foundations first. Use the orange spikes to put through those holes, which I talked about. Um, screw those in first, but just make sure that the black straps are very, very tight. Then start to insert the poles at the top of the canopy and then go in the middle of the canopy once the poles are inserted, lift it up, and then you're gonna have to insert the ends of the poles into the ground. And that's where you're really gonna need the most help is inserting those poles in and when you actually um, tighten the straps into the ground. So once you do those things, it should be good to go. You shouldn't have a problem with it. Again, the front of the canopy needs to be facing towards the wind, the way that the wind is blowing. 
if it is against the wind, it's it possibly still could work, but it's not going to work as effectively. And so if it's not facing towards the wind, um, you may have some problems. But I would just say give this thing a try. Uh, there's a 30 day return policy. So if you're not happy with it or if it's just too hard for you to set up, then, you know, just do the return. It shouldn't be a problem. But again, you got to get those orange spikes because if you use the ones that come with this kit, it's not going to stay in, in, the, in the sand. It won't stay in the sand as well at the beach. Maybe the ground, but not the sand at the beach. Uh, I know it only has five reviews out there, which isn't that great, but I don't think a lot of people are, are buying it just because there's so many options out there when it comes to beach tents. But I'm going to tell you, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. People are always looking at it, checking it out because it's shaped a little bit differently than most other canopies at the beach. So I've tried the big canopies, that the square top ones where they all look the same, the, the more basic, like if you just Google beach canopy, the first ones that pop up, which are the square ones that expand out and you just fold it out and then put the cover on the top, I've had that one. And um, those are okay, but number one, they're very, very heavy. Number two, uh, they can actually do a lot of damage to the tarp if you're not very careful when it comes to taking it down and putting it together. And so um, the one that I had actually ripped the, the tarp at the top. And so I just didn't like that style the way it is because there's so many pieces to it that can, you know, nip your fingers or, or nip the tarp and things of that nature. So that style isn't the most effective one to me. The umbrellas, I have one of those as well. That one is hit or miss. I mean, on very, very windy days, I don't care how sturdy or how deep you have it into the ground, they can blow out over time as well. So this right now is my go-to um, for for the beach but there is another one that I'm looking at that I'm highly interested in. It's just a lot more expensive, but I think it'll do the job. Um, and it's not as enclosed in this. Another thing about this tent, speaking of enclosure, uh, it's not fully enclosed. So you have a back wall. So let's say here's the triangle, right? And here's the, here's the base of the triangle. The triangle's facing this way. The back wall, which is that base, doesn't have really any view. So the only view you're going to have of people around you and the beach and everything are the side views. And then you have the pole in the front of the triangle up here that is going to be a very, very minute um, obstacle of your view once you get under the tent. So it's not that serious at all. Like you're not going to be, oh, I can't see this. I can't see. No, you're going to have pretty much uh, surrounding vision that you would need when you want to go to the beach you can people watch and all of that but there is what I'm basically saying is there's a there's a slight little uh, piece tarp of the tent in the front that will be there that's holding the uh, middle pole that you stick into the ground and so because of that you know you may get a little um, obstacle in your view uh, with that but it's not that major at all Again, I think actually just by looking at other tents when I went to the beach the other day, looking at everyone else's tents and what they're using, I like this one the best out of any other tent that I've seen on the beach. But anyway, guys, I hope this helps because right now I think there's only like two videos of this tent. One guy's doing it in the, actually there's only two videos of this tent and both of them are in someone's backyard. So it doesn't really give you a beach perspective of how this will be used um, on the beach. But I give it a thumbs up out of a 10 rating. I'm going to say this is a 7. But other than that, I think it's overall great canopy. It's a great tent. I highly recommend it. So I hope this guy's helps if you guys have been watching this or checking it out on Amazon. Because I do think it's, uh, it's worth the purchase. So check out the video at the beach. And I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.